Hello, my future RN friends, and for those who are in medical field that are going to take ATIT um, 7, welcome or welcome back to Reality Life Series. So in today's video, I will be giving updates on ATIT version 7, and I'm also excited to let you guys know that I have my new website now, which is the realitylifeseries.com. You can check it out and sign up for email notification and I will be um, writing blogs, vlogs or blogs about my nursing journey, okay? So I also would like to shout out some of my subscribers who are really into my YouTube videos, okay? And if you're not subscribed to my channel, please go ahead and subscribe to Reality Life Series so that you will be updated with all my videos in the future. And hit the notification bell for more updates. So I would like to shout out to my 1.69k subscribers and up to date I have 96k views. I could not thank you enough for all of you guys for making this um, YouTube channel possible. So to I would like to read some of the comments that really touched my heart. So first of all we have Jenna M. So she said I truly appreciate the time you take to make these videos and I got 82.7% on my T's test and kept a 4.0 in my classes and I just got accepted in dental hygiene school. Thank you for being so such a oh my, thank you for being a big help in making my dream come true. Aw, that's a sweet comment. Thank you, Jenna M. And then next we have here Jokesha. Jukisha, she commented two months ago, thank you for this. You are so coming to learn from taking my test again Monday. Okay, good luck, Jenna. But I think she, uh, Jukisha, so I think she already took her test and I hope she did well on the second time. Then we also have Amy King. Hi, Amy. Thank you so much. And she said, thank you so much for this. It was very helpful and your English was just fine. Okay, yes, my English is not really <laughs> that great, but I did my best to help you guys out. And this um, right here, we have Marlene G. Um, the last name is cut out, so I'm just going to say, I'm just going to go for Marlene G. Thank you so much. I only studied this night before and I passed. Wow, amazing. So thank you so much for watching my videos. And then we have here um, Latoya Harris. Um, somebody asked her a question if the uh, was any of the questions in this video on the test and she replied um, I remember seeing some of a uh, few similar ones from the video but go online to Quizlet so she's telling you know some of the um, students to go to Quizlet for more info or for more updates and yeah Thank you so much again, you guys. Thank you so much. I am very, very happy that I was able to help others. And, and let's continue doing this, okay? Now let's go ahead to the ATIT's version 7 update. So what do you expect? We have here science has 44 questions, which include human anatomy and physiology, which is 18 um, items, 18 questions. Biology has nine. Chemistry has eight. It used to be, chemistry used to be just two or three questions, like at least when I took the test. Then scientific reasoning, there's gonna be nine questions. Then let's go to math. Math has 30, 34 questions total, and the numbers and algebra has 18. Measurement and data is 16. And then let's go to English and language usage. Total questions is 33. So to break down, we have conversions of standard English is 12 questions. Knowledge of language usage, using language and vocabulary. Knowledge of language using language and vocabulary is not 11, sorry. And to express ideas in writing is 10. So the total is 33 questions. Then the last one is the reading questions. Reading was the hardest um, part of the T's for me. So we have key ideas and details includes 15 questions. Craft and structure, 
nine questions. So I think this uh, graph and structure includes the like sequencing the paragraph or sequencing events, something like that. And integration of knowledge and ideas has 15. Total is 39. So that's all for today. That's all I can share for the um, new ATITs um, version 7. And I hope you guys enjoy um, watching this video. And if you are... Um, if you like, you can subscribe to my channel for, for more future videos about ATITs. And mind you guys, I may have to retake my ATITs this year because I'm considering of applying in a private school because I didn't get into the lottery program um, I applied in 2020. So I may have to, like I said, I may have to uh, consider applying in different other schools, in different schools like um, probably um, some private ones. We'll see and I will keep you guys updated. Okay? So thank you so much for watching and I'll see you in my next video.